יום העצמאות is coming, and יום העצמאות is the independence day of Israel, the birthday of Israel that we celebrate. So I wanted to read you a story about Israel. Um, this story is Shalom everybody. It's Gruber's adventure in Israel. You know Gruber, don't you? Hello everybody. It is I, your fairy blue friend Gruber, on my way to awesome Israel. I'm so excited. I promised to email all my friends on Sesame Street for my trusty blue laptop. I thought you would like to hear about my adventures too. Shalom everybody. Shalom is how you say hello. Also goodbye and also peace. I'm so confused. I'm emailing you from Israel. I landed at Ben Gurion Airport on Friday morning. I traded my dollars to shekels. Then I hopped uh, on the bus to Jerusalem. Brosh and Avigail met me at the station. Everyone was rushing to get ready for Shabbat. Do you know what Shabbat is? Brosh said it is a Jewish day of rest. It starts at sundown Friday and ends on the sundown, sundown on Saturday. The challah bread at Shabbat dinner was very tasty. Your globetrotting blue monster wolf, P.S. Here is a picture of me on my first day in Israel. <coughs> Noga say hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Did you know that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel? And did you know that the holy city for the Jews, Christian, and Muslims too? I didn't know that. Borosh and Avigail took me to the Western Wall, the Kotel in Hebrew. It is all is left from the great ancient temple. We wrote prayers and stuck them in the wall. Mine was a wish for Abby's sick grandmother to get better. You wandering, wishing monster at the at the wall, Grover. P.S. Here is a picture of me at the kotel. You see, everybody is putting a little note in the kotel, and in the note there is a wish that he wrote. Shalom, everybody. Today I join an archaeological dig. We looked in the dirt for. Uh, things that belong to people who lived there a very, very, very long time ago. I found a fuzzy blue hair, but it was from my own head. Ah, uh, it's not an archaeological. I found a dirty tennis shoe. Hey, that's mine, someone said. All right, I found a piece of an old water jug. Your dusty blue monster, Goover. P.S. Here is a picture of me with a piece of a water jug I found. You see what he found? Uh oh, rain stops. Shalom, everybody. What a day I had in the Machne Yehuda market in Jerusalem. Do you know how I spend my shekels, my money? I will give you some clues. I bought something that will make our flower uh, flow colorful, something that will excite Cookie Monster, something that Zoe can dress up in. All that shopping made this fairy blue monster hungry. But don't worry, I ate a falafel and a ripe pomegranate. Your true blue friend, Groover. Shalom everybody, I greet you from Yam Kiner, the Sea of Galilee. I came to be a volunteer on a kibbutz. Is that not a funny word for a farm community? Of course, some kibbutzim today do more than farm. Some even have factories or make computer parts. Here is what I did. I milked a cow. I am not so cute and fuzzy covered in milk. I picked cotton, cotton sticks to fairy blue monster. I washed dishes. I broke only three of them. Your sticky cotton covered monster groover. P.S. Here is a picture of me at the kibbutz. Shalom everybody, today I hiked up the steep 
rocky shaped path of Masada. This is where some Jews were to find safety from the Roman soldiers a long, long time ago. They lived there for six years. It was a long walk up and a long walk down. Your tired pal, Groover. P.S. You see the speck on the top of Masada? That is Groover, mountain climber, ex extraordinary. Do you see how, how high he climbed? Oh my goodness, shalom everybody again. Yesterday a mountain, today the lowest place on earth, the Dead Sea. I bought my fishing pole but I couldn't catch even one tiny fish. Do you know why? Someone finally told me, the Dead Sea has no fish and no plants, just salt. Lots of salt. I floated all afternoon. I will mail some Dead Sea mud for big birds so a foot. This special mud will make his foot better. Your salty monster goover. P.S. Can you see it? I, goover, under all that mud. Can you see me? Shalom everybody. Today I rode a camel named Fatima across the, the desert. A long leg buzzer flapped down right in front of us. I was all shook up, but Fatima never gets shook up. I visited some Bedouin along the, the way. They invited me into their tent. We sat on comfy cushions, enjoying delicious tea and pita bread, while the sheep and goats were watching us. The camel race was fun, even though Fatima didn't uh, win. She is slow, but at least she doesn't spit as much as some of the other camels. Camels can be very rude. Your fairy desert friend, Groover. P.S. My new friends gave me uh, this highly attractive scarf to cover my fairy blue head. Shalom everybody, greeting from a lot. Can you see him? Uh, imagine Groover swimming with the dolphins? I couldn't imagine it until today. Can you imagine Groover snorkeling? Snorkeling is swimming on the top of the water and look at beautiful fish and coral. A mask help, helps you uh, see and tube help you breathe. Is that uh, not totally awesome? Your soggy fairy friend Groover. P.S. This dolphin is named Dory. Shalom everybody. Today is my last day in Israel. I am sad to leave and I am happy to be coming home. Yes, it is true. Maybe someday you will have your own groovy adventure in Israel. Your globe-trotting fairy blue monster, Groover. P.S. This is the tree that I planted in Israel in honor of you, my very special friends on Sesame Street. Bye-bye, everybody. Groovy, Groover is coming back home. And maybe you, someday, will visit Israel too and you'll go to all these excited places that Groover just visited. So bye until then.